Hi, Hi fellow birdies. birdies, and welcome back to another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. In today's video, we're gonna be trying out some new candies, and I think these are some candies that aren't new, but maybe we haven't had before. So it's kind of a mixture of both of them. So we got chocolate covered payday, this crunchy waffle comb piece Hershey's bar, caramel big cup Reese's. I think this is new. This is new too. Hershey's milk delicious, and something called a what you might call it. What is it called? What's your McCall it, right? What am I gonna call it? I don't know what you McCall it. What's your McCall it? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go through a taste test. Let's go ahead and get started. Mm. So the first one we're gonna do is uh what you am I call it? So it says made with chocolate, peanut flavored crisp, and caramel. Kinda sounds like a Snickers bar. But we'll have to find out. This is what it looks like. So cheers. Definitely crunchy. You get the feeling of a chocolate dipped, you know, rice crispy. It kind of reminds me of a Snickers, like kind of like a Crunch Bar. You know those Crunch Bars with the rice crispy and stuff like that. The little crunchy it's things in here is peanut butter. Peanut I definitely like. I like the crunch, uh, the combination of the caramel and peanut butter. It's got the crunchiness of a Crunch Bar, but the taste reminds me of a Snickers with the peanut butter and the caramel. So this isn't too bad. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's got chocolate you know, around it, you know, peanut butter to fill in, caramel, all those combine well there. You wouldn't think to combine with rice and you crisp, so it mm -hmm. works pretty well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this one a little smite. That's a pretty darn good bite. And it tastes real, really good chocolate and the peanut butter. I'm, I'm a big fan of chocolate and peanut butter, so I might be biased. <laughs> but <clears throat> this is definitely a really good bite. I'd say it's really good. You're yeah, not quite to the point of blowing me away, but it's really close. So I'm giving it an eight and a half. That's a really good bar. Mm -hmm. We definitely oh. recommend. Yeah, I'd go back for it too. All right, the next one we're gonna do is this Hershey's bar. It's called Milk Delicious. Now I do believe this is new, but it's been out for a little while, but I, we've never had it. So it's milk chocolate with creamy chocolate milk filling. This kind of, it's gonna kind of remind me of Ghost of a uh, Three Musketeers bar because it's such chocolate and it's got a chocolate milk, you know, filling inside of it. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. It's just kind of like, uh, why does this look like a Pillsbury Doughboy? <laughs> How many of those you know, <laughs> she's in wrong. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, yeah. This is good. And you have that classic Hershey's chocolate taste and the chocolate filling. It's like you're being hit with a double chocolate attack. Mm hmm. No, I love chocolate. I, I'm not going to resist giving this at least a name. Let me tell you a little, you know, fun fact. I used to really love having you know, milk, cho uh, chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. Just have a mild case of um, intolerance for certain things, like lactose. I had chocolate milk. I like growing up and stuff, too. Especially in my breakfasts and stuff. I would have uh, Cheerios and Nesquik. <laughs> Put the Nesquik mm -hmm. chocolate powder in there and milk. That was good. So, like... That's kind of reminding me of that. But double chocolate. If you're a big fan of chocolate, I think you're going to love this one. Mm -hmm. So that one's getting a nine for me. That's <laughs> the same thing, basically. Oh, yeah. It's a nine. It's really, <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> Brings back very fond memories, too. Chocolate milk plus chocolate. Didn't The combination I didn't know I wanted. But I'm glad to have it. It's not too expensive, is it? <laughs> yeah. All right, next we have another Hershey's bar. Now this huh? one is a crunchy waffle cone pieces. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work in a Hershey's bar, but I guess we'll find out. All right, so here's a saver. So let's give it a go. Now I like how it's divided into 12 pieces because you can divide it <laughs> so many different ways. You can divide it two people, three people, four people, or six people. Now so this is just kind of a Hershey's bar with a little bit of a crunch to it, mm -hmm. which is, you know, not a bad thing, but like, sometimes I just kind of enjoy a Hershey's bar without crunch. So this really isn't adding much to it. This, this is kind of a combination of a crunch bar and a Hershey's bar. I keep thinking of the crunch bars because of the crunch. Well, it's a crunchy Hershey's bar. Close enough. And it's got like, it looks like, it says waffle cone pieces, but it looks like Rice Krispies pieces in it. Or you know the rice that you find in a chocolate bar. Now, so this is okay, but it's not making the Hershey's really any better for me. I'm probably going to just like an 8. If anything, I kind of think it's taken away from me enjoying the Hershey's chocolate because I really just want to enjoy pure Hershey's chocolate. 
I just wanted the buff chocolates that you can get anywhere. For me, it's not quite up to the Milk Delicious one, but I really like it. I'd say it's comparable to the whatchamacallit. As such, I'm gonna give it the same rating, eight and a half. It would definitely add to my plate. It's time to have our payday. <clears throat> Except this time we're gonna do chocolatey payday. Now, I'm not a fan of the original payday, per se. Like, it's kind of like too tough to chew. So I'm kind of wondering how this is gonna be, honestly. Like, it's definitely a big bar. Like, you can see it went in, it's kind of like. So this is what the inside looks like. You can see the peanuts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, let's well, give it a go. Better. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely more enjoyable than the regular peanut butter. Makes you think of Butterfingers. We definitely got a nice peanut butter, peanut chocolate flavor. But that coating on it is a lot more enjoyable than the other one. But the other one is covered with the peanut butter, um, no got whatever it is. I I forget like peanut butter and peanuts. But it's just too tough to chew. This one is not. It's easier to chew and easier to enjoy. So this is, um, this is definitely one of the better payday. I think it's good for a payday, and I like it, but I don't really love it. Like, it's good, but I'd rather be having one of those Hershey's bars, or the, whatchamacallit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, those Hershey's bars and stuff, those were good. But that payday, I, I'll just keep saying this, it's definitely better than a regular payday, by far. I, I just do not like the regular payday, because it's so freaking hard to chew. Like, why would you want to chew through this tough peanut butter texture? I don't peanuts. Like, if it was softer, yeah, that would be another thing. But this one, yeah, this one's a lot better by far. So this is getting at least, getting at least a seven and a half for me. Like you said, it's not amazing. I prefer the other chocolates, but it's still way better than the regular payday. And you kind of see adding this to my plate, like if I had a choice like, kind of thing. So I'm going to give it a seven and a half too, I think. Seven and a half seems like a fair rating. It might go as low as seven, but... I think I'll give it the nod, seven and a half. It doesn't have anything really bad about it, but I didn't really detect anything that was like, you know, great about it. You know, it's just decent. Now we're gonna do a caramel big cup Reese's. Now I think this is actually been out for a little while. Now I've been looking for that cho molten chocolate lava Reese's one that came out with this past month. Yeah, but I have not been able to find it yet. Mm. And I wanted to do the Snickers pecan bar too, but they did not have that in stock that way when we went to the store. But this is what it looks like. It looks like a classic Reese's thing, so let's give it a go. All right, you can see it's gooey and messy. So here we go. To be fair, Reese's aren't really meant to be torn apart, I don't think. Uh -uh. Actually, they kind of are. They're meant to be bit apart, you know? Hmm. That's actually pretty darn good. Mm. Like, I like the combination of the peanut butter and the caramel. Mmm. Okay, now that's a good Reese's cup. That adds a little something extra rich to it. I, will, I do think it might be a little bit too much, honestly, but like... I, mean, I do love Reese's. Reese's is another one of my favorite candies. I love um, Three Musketeers, Reese's is a chocolate peanut butter, but this is definitely taking the Reese's to another level. Hmm. It's got a nice, rich caramel flavor, and it really combines well with that peanut butter we're known for. Now, I'm going to say this first. The regular Reese's is one of my favorite candies. You know, Not the favorite, but it's definitely like a... If I was going to like a Halloween thing, and I could get some Reese's, I would totally get some Reese's. For me, the caramel and Reese's do combine well, but I'm not sure it's actually an improvement in my eyes to the regular Reese's, because I really enjoy the peanut butter and chocolate combo of Reese's. You know, and the caramel, while good, you know, reduces that peanut butteriness. It's still really good, because I really love Reese's. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. It's... At least close to the uh, original Reese's in quality. I really like the original Reese's in quality. I'm probably going to go ahead and give it the same thing too. I said I am a big fan of Reese's. And I'll probably give like the Aurora Reese's an 8. Because it's not my favorite candy. It's one of them. But this adds something extra to it. Like it's kind of like something extra that it needs. Like I'm not saying the original Reese's is boring in any way of a sense of form. <laughs> but this adds a little something to it if you want a little bit more excitement. So I'm giving it an eight and a half as well. It's definitely a good concept for a Reese's bar. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little taste test. I think there's gonna be a lot more other candies coming out over the next couple months because it's Halloween and stuff. So I might do another review. So stay tuned for that. Also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to notifications. And we will see you folks in the next video. Give it a good whack. Good smack. <laughs> this is Chris Top. And Charles. Signing off. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.